In this video, I'm gonna show you the secret to maximizing your profit as a blockchain developer, because that's one of the best ways to make money in this space in the long run is to learn these highly valuable skills. And the exciting thing is there's so many different ways to make money with them. So I'm gonna talk about how to do that today as someone who's done it for real. All right, so if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you know, smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Just click the link down below to sign up today. So what's the secret to maximizing your profit in blockchain? Well, it's to take all these different ways of earning money with blockchain and combine them together to create multiple sources of income because this is going to allow you to earn more money than you could off one single source of income. And there's good news because there's lots of different ways to do this with blockchain. I mean, this space is ripe with opportunity. And so I want to give you some ideas on how to do that because I personally do it myself. So first, let's start off at looking at different ways that you can earn money with blockchain. So there's the obvious one. You can get a job as a blockchain developer. It's one of the best ways to earn money with blockchain in the long run. You can become a freelancer. You can participate in DeFi. This can be a lot of different things. There's different ways to earn passive income with DeFi. You can do yield farming. You can create your own apps that do leveraged yield farming to maximize returns. You can do flash loans, create arbitrage trading bots, algorithmic trading bots. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can also participate in blockchain infrastructure. So this looks like, you know, running uh, nodes. So you could mine cryptocurrency, but you can also leverage your technical skills to do things like run uh, validator nodes. So Chainlink is an example. You can basically create your own digital business with Chainlink link and uh, run a validator node to earn income that way. You could also do something like run an ETH2 validator node. All right. Another big way is education. All right. This is an industry that a lot of new people don't understand. So there's a big opportunity here to educate people and you can earn money for doing that. Whether it's teaching about blockchain technology, about cryptocurrency, or just about programming in general. And the last way, of course, is just investing in cryptocurrency. We'll talk about that too. So these are some ideas on different ways that you can monetize these skills. And this is not a complete list by any stretch of the imagination, but this will give you some ideas to start off with to see how you can combine these things. All right. So I'm give you some ideas on how to do that right now. Now, if you want to really maximize your income potential, then you need to have some sort of scalable income source, okay? Because if you look at this list, like, these aren't all scalable income sources. Like a job's not really scalable. Freelancing isn't scalable unless you hire out, right? But unless you have some massive war chest of cash, then I highly recommend having one at least base income stream that's predictable. It doesn't have to be scalable. So you can add something else on top of it. And so that's first step is to pick your base because you definitely want to have this before you start adding something else on top of it because these other things are not quite as predictable and it'll probably take you some time before you can actually scale those to be significant income sources. So for most people, this is an easy answer. It's just get a job. And immediately I'm going to say this, like if you just get a job and just do that, like you don't have to do all this extra stuff. You know, I've talked a lot on this channel about how, you know, blockchain is one of the highest paying industries. And if you become a blockchain developer, you know, it's one of the best ways to make money with this stuff in the long term. And the amount of money that you can make from that job may be just fine for you. And you may not care about this extra stuff. That's okay. But if you want to take that next step, then I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So the first easy add-on is freelancing, all right? So this is not necessarily a scalable income source, but it's an additional income source that can help you earn more money than if you just had your job. So there's lots of benefits for this. So first and foremost, you don't have to learn anything else new, really, to start freelancing. Once you have the skills to get this job, you can just take those skills and apply it to freelancing, all right? You just offer those exact same services to other people like while you're working your regular job on the nights or the weekends, and that will enable you to earn more money than you would with your base salary at this job, okay? And this has another huge benefit because it lets you try freelancing out to see if it's something that you might want to do for the long term. Because you can earn more money as a freelancer than you would at a regular job if you know what you're doing. And I always recommend that people try freelancing out while they're working a regular job before they decided to go full time in it because you really want to get that experience before you try to do it full time. And now the other good news is you can approach this from a different angle. So let's say you're working another job right now. You're not a blockchain developer yet then you can just keep your regular job and start freelancing in blockchain now. This part doesn't have to be a blockchain job before you can start doing this step. And this might actually enable you to transition into blockchain to where this can then turn into a blockchain job. And so you can approach it from that route and then you'll have this setup. And so that's what it looks like to make your job sort of your base income. Now, 
If you've done this strategy, then you can move on to the next level, which is making freelancing your base income, okay? Now, you don't have to do that step, but if you become a full-time freelancer or you can rely upon it as your base income, it's gonna give you a lot of leverage to add on extra stuff and pursue opportunities that you may not be able to pursue if you had a full-time job. Now, like I said, you definitely wanna build up a lot of extra skills and reputation before you go full-time as a freelancer. But if you decide to become a full-time freelancer, then you're gonna be able to do things like take the extra cash that you have from freelance and funnel it into other business opportunities. You'll have more control over your schedule to pursue those opportunities. For example, you can just decide when you want to work on freelancing work. You can decide on when you want to work on these other projects. It just makes it much easier to bootstrap some other endeavor. All right, so once you've established your base income and you've got that figured out, right? Because you, you wanna have that totally figured out really before you start adding any other income sources. Then the next step is to add some sort of scalable income source. And I'm gonna give you some ideas on what those things are and how you can implement those. But my advice before I talk about those is you wanna focus on one thing until it's working and generating income before you even think about something else. All right, so one option would be like becoming a validator on a decentralized network like Chainlink, for example. This is where you run a blockchain node that participates in the consensus protocol for Chainlink. It provides real world data to smart contracts. Now this isn't like a Bitcoin node or an Ethereum node where you just set it up and like turn mining on or staking on and then uh, it generates money you have to actually treat it like a business so you become a data provider to the blockchain you run a node and then you actually get other people to pay you for using that node and that's part of what it means to run blockchain infrastructure and there are other opportunities like e2 coming online now this is a very set it and forget it type of scenario where you run a node you stake cryptocurrency to the network and you participate in uh you know validating new transactions on the blockchain that way. Now, Ethereum 2.0 is just coming out, so it'll take some time before you can actually earn money with this, and there is capital required. You have to have 32 Ether to stake, but that goes back to that original point of having that base income, uh, like from your job, for example, where you could actually purchase 32 Ether to participate in E2 by becoming a validator that way. So another way is to create your own passive income app with DeFi. Okay, so this is, there are a lot of new opportunities with this as this space is uh, emerging. So a lot of these have been enabled by flash loans. Okay, so this is basically where you can take you know, millions of dollars of cryptocurrency, you can borrow with zero money down and use it to earn more money, all right? So one of them is with yield farming, all right? You can take out flash loans to do leverage yield farming, right? I've made videos on my channel on how to do that. But basically this allows you to earn high yield in ways that you couldn't unless you were a coder and like could code your own strategies this way, okay? You can also use uh, flash loans for arbitrage trading. This is where you look for price discrepancies on different cryptocurrency exchanges and you buy the cryptocurrency for one price on one exchange and sell it for a higher price on a different exchange. And with flash loans, you don't even have to have the money in order to make those trades. And so you can create your own bots that do this in the background passively while you sleep. Now these bots require some time to get going, right? To find the actual opportunities. And they also require maintenance and refining the strategies. But once you have that base income established, like I talked about earlier, then you can devote the time on the side to getting one of these bots working. Now, another way is to create your own app, okay? So this is something that you can do on the side once you've got that base income established to get you an extra stream of income, okay? And now blockchain is a really great place to do this. So there are tons of opportunities to create new blockchain applications. You can check out a list like DeFiPulse.com. You know, this list has grown exponentially this year alone. And so a lot of these are financial-based use cases. So, you know, you don't even have to reinvent the wheel. You can take a look at some of these applications and try to create something similar that works a little bit different and is a competitor to these applications or you can create uh, an app that builds on top of these and provides some sort of benefit to other users that you won't get by using one of these applications alone. You can mash these apps together to create new apps. There's, there's lots of possibilities. And there's another huge opportunity because of yield farming. Basically, a lot of these... Uh, applications that have come out are offering these really high APYs to users, okay? And if you can create some sort of DeFi application that earns that, then that's a powerful incentive to attract new users for your brand new application that nobody's ever heard of before. And the last scalable income source that I want to talk about is education, okay? Uh, because like I talked about before in this video, nobody really understands blockchain. I mean, people do, but like brand new people, it's such a huge paradigm shift that a lot of times there's a lot of hand-holding that has to happen before they can, you know, use blockchain, understand it. And so there's a big opportunity to create educational content. You can teach people about cryptocurrency. You can teach people about blockchain technology. You can teach people how to code because people will pay for this information and you can do it at scale. Basically, you can create something that teaches people how to do it and then the more people request that information, the more money you can make. So, I mean, the really easy way to do it is to create something like a Udemy course, right? He has the 
don't have to do any marketing and you can get paid for that knowledge, right? Or you can take the longer route and actually build up some sort of online community, online presence, and then sell your information that way. I mean, that's the route that I've taken. Now, once you have that base income established and then some sort of scalable income source, the last thing you want is a passive growth machine. Because, you know, if you're not spending any time earning the money, once you have it, you should put some of that money back to work to multiply it. That's what's going to really maximize your profits in the long term. Having some predictable income source, some sort of scalable income source can get a lot bigger and then some sort of passive income source where you can take that money and just multiply it further and further. So the really obvious one here is just buying cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum. If you're a beginner, highly recommend just starting with those two because everything else is really volatile and you can lose a lot of money. Now, this being said, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. And I'll also tell you that like when I first got into crypto, I lost money on Bitcoin and, and Ether. So you can totally lose money this way. I want to be 100% upfront with you uh, about that. So this is risky. But the reason I'm telling you about it is because I personally do this. And I always want to tell you when I have skin in the game, what I'm actually doing. And I am doing this. And it's part of my passive growth strategy for the income that I make from these other sources. So you can buy that cryptocurrency. You can also take the cryptocurrency that you've bought and leverage it even farther to earn passive income that way. Like DeFi, for example, you know, you can do yield farming. If you buy Ether, you can convert it to wrapped Ether, lock it up, stake it in some sort of service that gives you a high return. Or maybe you want to stake ETH on ETH 2.0. Like if the price of ETH is going up and you're also earning staking rewards on top of that, that's just icing on the cake and can multiply the income even further. And the last thing I'll say about this is if you're going to invest in crypto, I still recommend diversifying into something that's less risky and also more proven over the long term. Like real estate or index funds, right? Because this space is so new. And if you decide to sell the top, like that money's also got to go somewhere else. And so I highly recommend diversifying and not putting all your eggs in one basket. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I am telling you what I personally do. Okay. I personally uh, choose real estate, but you can do something like index funds or just something much more traditional like that. All right. So that's an overview on how to maximize your profit in blockchain. So again, basically the whole idea is to create multiple different income streams. Okay. You want to start off with a base income stream, like getting a job or becoming a freelancer. All right. And then adding something else on top of that. You know, maybe you could become a freelancer on top of your job and you could, or you could work on something else on the side to try to create a scalable income source that can get higher right? Like the DeFi, flash loans, uh, doing infrastructure. And then finally, you want to funnel those profits into something that's more of a long-term growth vehicle that's totally passive, okay? So again, I've done most of these things and I'm working on adding more, all right? So make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel because I talk about them a lot, all right? You can check out any of those past videos and, and just watch out because I'm going to add more videos about this stuff really soon. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you want to get started today, like learning these highly valuable skills, then what can you do? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. All right. If you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you just want to pause this video right now, take a massive shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I'll show you all the programming languages to build your own real world applications so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, build your own project, whatever. All right. So that's all I've got. I hope you like this video and until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.